This uh, tune doubled the horsepower. Do you find me sexy on a jet ski? No. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Welcome back to Fergus Falls, Minnesota, and welcome to another video. As promised in my last video, I was going to get a tune on my Sea-Doo Spark. And as we speak right now, it is tuned. It has not been out on the water yet, though. Uh, the process was super simple. Reliable Tuning is the company I went through. Uh, so far, without getting it on the water, highly recommend. We'll uh, see if I still recommend them at the end of the video. Uh, but it was a smooth process. Uh, I didn't have the best Wi-Fi connection, so you know hindsight's always 2020. So if you guys are looking to tune your spark, tricks, whatever, uh, make sure you've got an outdoor Wi-Fi connection that is very strong. I was going to use my hotspot on my phone. Uh, but the tablet they sent wouldn't recognize my hotspot, so ended up using the old DQ. So I'm gonna send you back in time, show you the tuning process, and then I'll meet you on the water in a little bit. It's here. Pro Rider, return shipping. Instructions, oh boy, sucker. Okay, so the instructions are pretty self-explanatory. I'll maybe scan this in and do a freeze uh, shot on the video so that you can, you know, take a look at it. It comes with a little tablet here and then charger for the tablet and then also this uh, flasher. This looks like it uh, plugs into the ECU on your jet ski and then this will go into the tablet. And then you just have to set up an appointment with the tuner, uh, looks like through like Facebook Messenger. All right, so you will have to get your diagnostic port out for this, um, super easy. If you look in here, I had to, this little zip tie right here was plugged in to a hole right here. So basically I just popped that wire up and out like that. And then the diagnostic port was connected to this connector right here hopefully that'll focus right there so i just used a flathead screwdriver to push on this section it popped right out looks like all i'll have to do is connect these two together so i've got the tablet up here with a little flash module connected to the usb uh, just waiting for a reply to uh, know when we can do the actual tune okay so i'm having a hard time hold these alligators down i'm getting a connection right now with my tablet i'm actually outside the local perkins um my hotspot for some reason isn't getting connected but the dude's trying to remote connect into the tablet and then we'll start the tuning kick me out going to need a solid connection to this sometimes the tablet will not join certain hotspots okay so the tune is going to go down at the local dairy queen uh you need to have a decent internet connection for some reason i couldn't get my hotspot on my phone to connect to the tablet for the tuner so sitting outside the old dq here getting this tune done He's in. So all I've done so far is turn the ski on. Once it was on, um, he had me start it after he did a few things for a couple seconds, stopped it, now waiting again. Not sure if he's done yet, but touring mode is now an option. Sweet. He's doing a flash right now. I guess that's gonna take like seven to nine minutes. So I'll just let this thing chill. I'm not supposed to touch the cables or anything during this. So I'll be back in a second. Probably kind of hard to see, but down here, it's probably about 50% transferring data okay so there's a couple steps that you got to do like starting the uh ski when it's done and then you know cycle into sport mode to make sure that works and then kill the ski um everything's disconnected i got the plug reconnected and the zip tie thing back in all that's left to do is get this thing out on the water and test it out uh the process took if you had a good wi-fi connection which i was struggling with um it'd probably take you about 10 15 minutes to knock this out I don't know if I've mentioned yet, but this uh, tune doubled the horsepower supposedly. So this was a 60 horsepower spark. The tune that I paid for was a 120 horsepower tune. Uh, so if we start it up here, uh, 60 horsepower bases don't have uh, sport mode. Now that the tune's there, you can see touring. If you hold the button, we should get sport. Entering sport. All right, now we got the old sport mode active. I have not tried this yet, so this is gonna be the 100% initial run. Let's see what happens.
she is definitely quite a bit more high strung. Um, I think I might have hit the rev limiter off the top. Definitely faster. Uh, I think 40 miles an hour or 41 was my top last time. Flashback. End of flashback. Got it up to 50 there, so pretty impressive. Um, it would be nice to have a Trix out here and run it against that to see what's up but uh, definitely more power. Let me just do that one more time and see if we avoid the rev limiter. And of course I didn't have the speedo in the right section. So let me, let me do it one more time. Such a rookie. That was touring. Let me put it in sport. All right, one more time. This time with sport mode. Definitely more power, super awesome. It's not like ripping my arms off or anything, but you know, if you had the 60 horsepower Spark and you were a little disappointed with its performance, I think after you tuned it, uh, it would have enough speed for you. 50 is pretty fast on the water if you're not familiar. That's true. No, you're not. I didn't do that on purpose. Yes, you did. You did it for the camera. <laughs> Here's the deal. <laughs> when you're steering, if you're not in the gas, the steering is gone. So I was coming for the dock. Mm -hmm. Shows my inexperience. Somebody's gonna comment below, what a douchebag. My dear? Dear? Don't. Jesse has to go now because I'm going to kill him. See you in the next one. Going to murder his Going to murder his Hey, no swearing to the YouTube community. That's it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Catch you in the next one. Listen.